Hi everyone, my name is Shay and I'm on the product marketing team here at Fleetio. I'm excited to show you some of our maintenance categorization features powered by VMRS. For folks who are unfamiliar, VMRS stands for Vehicle Maintenance Reporting Standards, which is an industry standard coding convention for tracking equipment and maintenance information. It allows you to organize and categorize any level of maintenance data into a structured format and is widely recognized across the industry. Fleetio has added five code keys to its maintenance data categorization capabilities. All the features we'll walk through today can be utilized without any knowledge of VMRS at all. So let's dig right in, starting with our updates to service tasks. If you're newer to Fleetio, service tasks are added as line items to work orders, and they are the way you log exactly what kind of service was being performed on a vehicle. We have added roughly 300 service tasks that come standard out of the box with each account. And you can optionally create your own custom service tasks as needed, and you'll see all the settings enabled there. All right, let's walk through an example. One of the first things that you'll notice is that the maintenance categorization settings section has been added to every service task form with three levels of granularity, those being system, assembly, and component. System really identifies the system that was involved in the repair. Assembly further defines that system. And component really identifies the part that was involved in the repair. We'll talk about reason for repair in just a bit, but for now, let's go back to our service task index. This gives you visibility to how all of your service tasks are categorized, as well as these columns are being added to all of the CSV for any folks that want to do bulk updates. In addition to that, by applying categorization, we've added all the fields you need into our service tasks import templates as well. We've also enabled you to create custom service tasks and apply your own categorization as you see fit. All right, let's take a look at how work order has been impacted. I'm gonna pick an example here and add a service task for breaks. You'll notice that when you apply a service task to a work orders line item, that a new maintenance categorization section appears. You'll also be able to indicate a reason for repair. In this case, we can say breakdown, uh, for instance, and this will be at the line item level. This level of granularity can help you understand trends that emerge from specific vehicle types, locations, or teams. So what does this do? You'll now receive line item level data on what was serviced and why exactly it was serviced. You'll also have repair priority class to understand which work order as a whole was scheduled, non-scheduled, or emergency. Next, let's take a look at the reports. We've introduced a new line item summary by vehicle system report. This gives you an aggregate view of the systems that were most commonly worked on and that were most costly. You can start answering questions like, which vehicle system did I spend the most money on last quarter, last month? You can also dig into our filters and look through answering questions like, which vehicle systems costed me the most that were caused because of breakdowns and were non-scheduled and emergency and not necessarily related to preventative maintenance. That type of insight is absolutely possible. And for a final update around how to control the level of granularity you see for your organization throughout the system, you can make changes to that through account settings. And then by scrolling all the way down to maintenance categorization, you'll see a screen pops up for system assembly component codes. And you can pretty much enable or disable down to the component level based on your needs. It's really optional for you to take leverage of the categorization and you can really customize it based on how your organization wants to view the level of granularity for each of these. We really hope that a lot of these features will help you make the most out of your maintenance data and will help you analyze your fleet operations at a deeper level. Thanks so much.